G'day, I'm David A. Elliott. In this video, I will discuss the appearance in Newcastle District Court of Warren McCorriston on the 11th of February 2021. In my discussion, I will cover updated information about the historical sexual assault and violence charges that are against him. Now, I was aware that he was appearing in court that day. So that night, I watched the local television news on NBN television in Newcastle, and they did have a report on his appearance in court. Most of the report was just going over the background information and various other things that I have covered in previous videos. The only real additional information they provided is that he will appear for sentencing on the 21st of May 2021. Now I was thinking that was not much information. So I did further online research and the only thing I could find at the time was from Sydney's Daily Telegraph. Now a lot of that report as well was just rehashing what's already been discussed in the past. There was a little bit of new information that was similar to NBN's, but I'll just read it directly. In Newcastle District Court on Thursday, a sentence date was fixed for May 21, with an estimation of two to three hours where McCorriston is set to appear in person. Now, my understanding most, if not all, of his previous court appearances on these matters, he has not been there in person. I believe his appearances were via video link. So it appears this will be his first actual appearance in person at the court on these matters. So I expect far more media coverage on that day. And be assured, I will provide updates at that time. May be up to a week or so later, just depending how much information there is and how quickly I can edit it at the time. So I felt there was little information being given. And the local newspaper, the Newcastle Herald, didn't even report it in the next day's paper. Then the following night, I was watching NBN News again on TV and was quite surprised when early on they had another report. This report was based on documents that had been revealed in court giving the statement of facts for background material in relation to the charges to which he had pleaded guilty. At this point I'll play you the full news article. Lake Macquarie Police swooped on Warren McCorriston on the Gold Coast in January last year. Now court documents have detailed the violence and sexual abuse three women suffered at his hands in the 80s, 90s and 2000s. In one case, McCorriston held his victim down, forced himself onto her and slapped her in the face. He also grabbed her by the throat with one hand and squeezed. She said to him, I cannot breathe. McCorriston was working for Sydney's Star City Casino as a restaurant general manager at the time. Another victim told of being driven around when she was suddenly punched in the face and head. McCorriston told her, you deserve to be punished and you deserve to suffer. On another occasion, he flew into a rage and she was repeatedly punched until she fell. She then felt a kick or knee to the back and thought she was going to die. A third woman told of a brown hatchback being driven by McCorriston following her in Newcastle before he grabbed her wrists and pulled them behind her body. He later told her, I know where you live, I've been to your house. The 59-year-old has pleaded guilty to five charges. His arrest came as part of a cold case investigation by Strike Force Arapaima. Their focus, the disappearances of three teenage girls from the Lake Macquarie area. None of the charges relate to them. Jane Goldsmith. NBN News. So as you can see, his behaviour is quite violent and predatory in his sexual assaults. It seems clear 
he has some sort of anger issues and it must be like some sort of power trip to have that sort of power over these women. The Newcastle Herald did publish an article which appeared in the Saturday edition of the Newcastle Herald on the 13th of February 2021, which is two days after his court appearance. The article by Sam Rigney begins by stating, A former hunter man linked to an investigation into the disappearance and suspected murder of four Lake Macquarie women displayed predatory, controlling and extremely violent behaviour towards three young women over nearly two decades, according to newly revealed court documents. Similarly, it then goes on to rehash the past hitch history, which I've detailed in my previous videos. Then, towards the end, we have, according to court documents relating to the sexual assaults and serious violence offences, McCorriston repeatedly raped and assaulted two young women between the mid-1980s and late 1990s. So at that stage, uh, he would have been in his early to mid 20s up until his late 30s, maybe 40 at the most. So that's the age he was when these offences were committed. It then continues, he would fly into a rage, punch the women in the head or rape them and later apologise and say it would never happen again. He also stalked a 17-year-old girl in Newcastle, following her to the train station in his car and grabbing her before showing up at her work and repeatedly calling her at home. I know where you live, McCorriston told the girl, apparently keen to let her know he knew a lot about her. I've been to your house. He then described the girl's house, backyard and dog to her. Okay, so it's not only violent, predatory, he has no respect for women, that's obvious. Um, yeah, the, so relating that newspaper article to the Newcastle, uh, sorry, to the NBN news report, where in the news report they say he grabbed one of the women and uh, twisted the wrists around her back, that must be the last one mentioned, the 17-year-old girl, where he uh, followed her to the train station and grabbed her. So that must be how he grabbed her. Um, yes, yeah, so clearly stalking behaviour and definitely wanting a power trip. Um, don't know what to say about that. Mm. Now, I know a lot of people have in their comments and even some messages that have been sent to me directly um, have expressed the view that... Uh, he is responsible for the disappearances of the girls that the uh, Operation or was it Strike Force Arapaima are investigating. Now, I don't necessarily believe he is responsible. Now, I concede he could be responsible, but when I was researching newspaper accounts from that period, it is clear there are a lot of... Um, dangerous, freaky people out there committing offences, at least there was at the time, and uh, it appears at the time the police investigations were not thorough enough. But anyway... So I guess I can see 
there is a capability that he could have committed the offences, but there were also a lot of people around with the same capability. So pinning down the exact one could be very difficult. Now, I've got to be careful here. If we go back to the woman who he allegedly kidnapped to and allegedly attempted to rape in 1980 when he would have been around 18, which would indicate if he is guilty of that offence because he was found not guilty. Um, so I will say they're alleged offences. Uh, given the account of his violence and aggressive behaviour, I would tend to believe her story over his. They both agreed on the facts that she was picked up and that he drove her to the bushland. He was claiming it was consensual. She was claiming it was not. Um, the other confirmed facts is she ran naked from the car to another car, screaming that she was being raped. So it um, does seem unusual someone would do that if they did not feel threatened. Uh, but it is alleged and he was found not guilty. I will leave you with her account of what he said and how that made her feel. And if you consider the statements that he made to these other women and his controlling behaviour, you would have to say it does fit. But he was found not guilty. We cannot say he is guilty. Only an alleged offence he was acquitted of. He just grabbed me and he said, you got in with the wrong one this time, baby. And they're words I will never forget. I'll take those words to my grave because those words will never leave me. So I'll leave it there at this stage. Um, if you'd like to make some comments, do that. Uh, if you like this video, uh, remember I'll do another video after the 21st of May um, about his sentencing and maybe some more interesting facts. I do make videos on other things, so if you like this video, you may want to look at some of my other videos, or even if you don't like this video, you may want to look at some of my other videos. Please subscribe, click on the notification icon to be notified of my future videos. I'm David A. Elliott. Have a good one, and see you around like a wristle.